Bande Guru Pada Dandan Bhakta Vinda Samanitam Se Chaitanya Prabhu Bande Nitta Nanda Samadita Se Nanda 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 Bande Radhika Charno Dayam Gopi Jano Samayuktam Binda Vancha Kalpataru Vashiki Pass in the Vavishu Patitan and Pavuni Bhavishna Vibhu Namo Namaha Mukan Karoti Vachalam Pangung Lang Hetigiri Yatki Patam Hangavandi Parama Nandumadam Brenda with Pussy the Baby Awake Shiva Sacha Shimabati Padi Devi Sato Vatui Namo Namaha Narayana Namaskitta Narancha Iva Narottama Devi Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayo Mudire Shankirtane Krishna Pato Pudesha Gauriya Patrasya Prakasa Necha Sadhanurakta Guru Bhakti Yukta Bhakti Pramadaksha Jagod Varanya Deyam sada paribhavagnam avishtaduham Te thas padam siva virinjanutam saranyam Itatiham punodabhal bhavad dibhutam Bande mahapurushate charna dhavindam Jat padipallavan kachandamani chatahe Vispurji toki mevgavadu shuadarsha Purnan Raghra Susagra Sarmurti Sarathi Kami Kada Kipam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Anand Sri Adhita Valadhar Siva Sadhi Gaura Bhakta Bind Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Anand Shri Adyaita Gada Adhara Siva Sadi Gopra Bhakta Bind Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Ajahn Ulam Vita Hujo Kanaka Bodhatu Sankirtana Ika Pitaro Kamala Aksho Visham Baru Dija Baru Yuga Dharma Palo Bande Yagat Priya Karo Karuna Bhataro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Ram, Hare, Ram, 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 Hare, Hare. Ajahnulam mita hujo kanaka abudato, Sankirtana ikapitaro kamala ajataksho, Visham Baru Dija Baru Yuga Dharma Palu Bande Yagat Priya Karu Karuna Bhutaru Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Namami Gange Tava Pad Pankajam Sura Sura Irvandito Diparupam Bhuktin Chamuktin Chadada Sinitam Bhavan Rupe Nasada Narana Ganga Taranga Ramani Ajata Kalapam Gauri Nirantara Vibhushi Tovam Bhagam 
Narayano Priya Manangamada Bhagi Sajusho Vadane Lakshmi Yasacha Bhakshashi Jasyasthi Hide Sambhi Pam Nishinga Maham Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare जो मंत्र हा सा गुरु हो साक्षात जो गुरु हो सा हरि ही स्वयं गुरु रजस्य भवे तुष्टो तस्य तुष्टो हरि ही स्वयं यो मंत्र हा सा गुरु हो साक्षात जो गुरु हो सा हरि ही स्वयं गुरु रजस्य भवे तुष्टो तस्य तुष्टो हरि ही स्वयं गौरी गोष्टी पति गौरी गोष्टी पति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपात परमेश्वर जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड दैट द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ भगवान ओनली एंड ओनली इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड श्रीनाम and other is that Bhagwan's Nitya Chit Vilas, that Archavatar of Bhagwan, the Archavikraha. Apart from that, there is no other pathway open. Gaudiya Goshtipati, Shishila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Paramahans Jagat Guru told that in this material world, that Bhagwan, that representation of Bhagwan which is there, it is only and only of two types. One is transcendental word, that Sri Nam, all you know actually about uh, about Sri Nam. Nam, a name and the Bhagwan is non different. And the second one is that Nitya Chit Vila Swaroop, Savishe Swaroop, that Archavatar, Archavikra, in these two there is no difference at all. And this is the actual uh, representation of Bhagwan in this material world, what we can see. That by Sri Nam, by Sri Nam, that uh, by the transcendental Vigraha of Bhagwan, we can serve by Sri Nam. By Sri Nam, that we can do the seva of the transcendental vigre means that we can uh, uh, serve transcendental with transcendental that in uh, unconscious state if someone is there then anyhow we cannot uh, go on to that conscious level and we cannot have that relationship with that conscious uh, transcendental consciousness we cannot gain at all it is not possible. That actually is being told. And there is no other pathway, is there open. That by Chetan only we can serve Chetan. That trans. That lot of proofs are there uh, in context to this, whatever be the case. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad is a topmost mercy, is uh, endless. That's why in we are that kind of satsanga. We are taking that kind of uh, way of satsang, that Sri Manasiksha. We are actually here to discuss Sri Manasiksha. By this, uh, by this way, 
and in this that previous week we have already discussed that Shri Guru that Shri Mantra what is there with Shri Guru that Bhagavad Mantra which is there the first point I want to just uh, uh, manifest is that that the Prabhupada speaking regarding this that this is not an actual vishya of sense some sentiment and this is not a vishya of false ego just by speaking Shri Guru we can understand that he is Vishnu Guru he is Sat Guru Vishnu Guru if Guru he is speaking some word then with that definitely we can understand that that this Sat Guru and Vishnu Guru means Sat Guru only that apart from that no other no other uh, whether you are actually worshipping some other Shakti or some other demigod you are worshipping by their Gurutva cannot get a Siddh at all only and only Bhagwan that Parat Parakhileshwar Sachidananda Vigraha Parabrahm Bhagwan Shri Krishna or Vishnu Tattva that uh, all the time they are continuously serving them that in their seva there is no disturbance no discontinuity is not there their gurutva can get siddha that's why samantra this word this word means that in the starting we have already told that vaman kalpa that in vaman kalpa shastra this brahma vakyam the word Brahma, this already being spoken there. That Brahma Vakyam, Brahma Ji actually speaking. That mantra which is there, that is Guru. You, you didn't understand what I'm speaking. That Guru, if he is not at all getting a mantra vigra, that previous week I was actually discussing. That our heart and mantra is actually getting oneness, and if if our heart and mantra is getting oneness, then kind of material uh, heart, this kind of possibility not at all possible. Only that a prakrit heart and mind, this can be possible. So, Guru himself is actually getting oneness with that mantra. He is becoming the Vigraha mantra, Guru Dev. That Saksha, that absolute Guru, he is actually equivalent to Hari. Guru is becoming mantra murti. He is, the, he is becoming equivalent to the Vigraha of mantra. And the Bhagwan, man, Bhagwat mantra, that it is non-different from Bhagwan. So, if Guru is actually becoming Vigraha of that mantra, then definitely in Guru and Hari, there is no difference at all. That onto Guru, onto those, that Sadguru is happy all the time. That onto those, that Swayam Sadguru is actually uh, happy all the time, satisfied. Then definitely Bhagwan is also satisfied on them. There is no difference in that at all. Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada to him, devotee is asking to him that okay, that Mantra Siddhi and Bhakti Siddhi, what is the difference between that? What is the actual speciality between that? That the devotees, they were asking to the Prabhupada that what is the difference between Mantra Siddhi and Bhakti Siddhi? What is the actual difference? What is the actual speciality? That Mantra Siddhi by getting that that this material bondage we can get a mukti out of that by mantra siddhi that this material bondage from that we can get uh, uh, out of that material bondage and after that that suddha bhakti and sadhan bhakti we are getting nishta in that and uh, in when you are moving forward that can be done you get you can get nishta to get out of that uh, sansar that means that you are getting free from anarth and when you are free from on earth, lot of times the Prabhupada speaking regarding this context, that when you are actually free from on earth, when on earth, at the time when on earth is there inside your heart, 
Hari Bhajan is not at all possible. It cannot start. At Bhagwan to do the Bhajan of Bhagwan, it is not at all possible when an earth is there. So Mantra Siddhi, after getting that, that we can get out of this sense born material bondage. To to get out of material bondage means that you can get out of the three modes of material nature very easily. That kind of effect of material uh, modes cannot be there on you. And maybe after that, that Shuddha Bhakti, Sadhana, sadhana Bhakti or Nishta Bhakti, it can go ahead and it can be done. Before that, that Sadhana Kriya or Bhajana Kriya, that it is not at all actual Bhajan at all. This is just one kind of practice. That even is also under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnav. Sadhana Kriya or Bhajana Kriya. This is actually, is not at all actual Bhakti. That pre- first is actually Mukta. That to get out of the material bondage. That your Karma Bandhan just got destroyed completely. And after that when you go ahead out in Bhajan. And after that, that Aprakrit falls pure. That pure, that false ego you are getting uh, uh, free from that. And after that, that is you are becoming Nishkam and you become Bhagavad Sukhartha. Means, after that, when that material Ankar is not at all there inside you, then after that, pure ego is actually getting manifested and. Uh, that Bhagavad Seva, that kind of Seva, the Seva mood you are actually manifested inside your heart. That is actually called Suddha Dasa or Shuddha Bhakti. So then, this actually comes in the discussion that Mantra Siddhi, after getting that only you can get Mukta and by getting Bhakti Siddhi you are getting Prema. That Prem Bhakti, that Prem Bhakti, that all those devotees who they are actually called Siddha Bhakta or Mahabhagwat. That a month by Mantra Siddhi he is getting Mukta. That, that is definitely there. But uh, we have already seen that. That even Namabhas also can give you Mukti. Maybe Mantra Siddhi by that Krishna Mantra Siddhi definitely is becoming our Mukta. But Namabhas also, there is, it is written in the Shastras that by Namabhas also there is Mukti. There is no problem at all. So that's why Bhagwan, to do the bhajan of Bhagwan, that Bhagwan's naam bhajan is Mukta Kulai Rupasimanam. That Krishna Bhakt, Krishna naam Bhadajeev cannot do at all. That Krishna naam is the mool of everything. That is the actual uh, fine object. What actually written here? What actually written here? It's already done, no? So this is the actual vichar. That Gurudev he uh, has written one article that is called Mantra Shakti that I just remember it Gurudev always used to speak this Gurudev always used to speak this that mantra which is actually is not at all getting Siddh in, in your life that Gurudev always used to speak this point in the Prakat Leela when he was there that mantra that mantra which is not at all getting Siddh in our life that in order to give that mantra to other, they, it is fruitless. It's of no use because there is no power in it at all. There is no power at all in that. There is no power at all in that. That's why Gurudev always used to speak. That mantra which is not at all getting Siddh in our own life, that kind of mantra, how it can get uh, successful in the life of other. That mantra, how it can get successful in the life of others, it's not possible at all. This is not at all possible. Next to impossible. This is not at all possible at all. That Gurudev is giving one example. And uh, in the article Mantra Shakti he used to write. Gurudev used to, used to speak in the childhood. 
that uh, our uh, one uh, one person of our uh, village that some snake has just uh, uh, bite one person there of our village and he whether he is actually dead nothing is going on inside his body no no life was there so that from the other neighborhood village some who knows the actual mantra of the snake he is actually being called you just come immediately and just see whether he is actually he is dead i think so he that person just came that gurudev himself seeing that person he just that person came from the neighborhood village and he is that uh, person who knows the no who knows the mantra of the snake he by that by that mantra he is actually uh, uh, calling that snake who has bitten whether that uh, devra baba also there is he devra baba also is calling the snake there is also one kind of uh, proof regarding that so after calling that snake who has bitten that person ojha speaking that you have just bitten this man then uh, all kind of uh, poison that what is there inside him inside his body you just take it away from his body that how he has taken the snake gurudev speaking that three sea cells he has taken that three sea cells that just by invo- invoking mantra in that and that it that must that sea cells just uh, started flying and they just uh, just like a magic they just take the snake from there it's like that the actual uh, the actual head of the snake that that in between that two two sea cells were there and just uh, above the eyes of the snake one sea shell is there is placed that all these three sea cells just uh, uh, forcefully that those sea cells just taking that snake uh, just came there in front of that uh, ojha and he is actually instructing to the snake that whatever poison from where you have taken you just take that away that he started invoking the mantra and the snake immediately where he has bitten that person he has taken all the poison from there just taken that poison from there and after that he, that person who was bitten he just for many days he was just lying down unconscious and after that some days he is just getting consciousness gurudev himself seeing that that it is very much uh, surprising to see very amazed that uh, bhut mantra ghost mantra snake mantra this also someone has gotting siddhi in his life then also these mantra in uh, front this can get siddhi in the life of that particular person that then only it can get successful otherwise even in the market if he is taking some book and uh, he is just uh, getting the snake mantra or ghost mantra you can get in the market but in the book also you can read but no result you can get at all it means that that gurudev used to speak that in this material world if this in this material world that uh, all these wishes we we can see that uh, mantra who have already just taken siddhi in their life then definitely they are giving it again to someone then anyhow that mantra won't uh, that mantra has no value at all if it is not at all siddh in his own life that that mantra is having no value at all so so mantra means that uh, close to gurudev you are actually getting that and that guru who is actually sat guru who has done bhajan that kind of uh, his gu- his guru he has also getting that siddhi in that mantra and he is getting the kripa of his that his guru and now the actual question coming here is that that just by speaking mantra just by speaking this word mantra that krishna mantra we will take why because in our vaishnav ma samaj that other mantra it is no it is of no value at all that kind of preaching of other mantra is not at all there that's why we will take the krishna mantra only that we will be just taking into context this that this is vishnu mantra that shri vid that what we that shri guru that bhagavad mantra we have got from him that is actually called that uh, what the mantra we got from gurudev that is called swa mantra swa swa mantra swa mantra 
स्वीन्स आत्मा स्वम इज स्व मीन्स नॉट दिस बॉडी स्वमंत्र इज आत्मा जस्ट फॉर द एक्चुअल जस्ट टू गेट द एक्चुअल रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ आत्मा दिस इज नॉट अ नाइट राइस वर्ड इन द इलेवेंथ कैंड ऑफ भगवान स्पीकिंग टू उद्धव देर इज नो बॉन्डेज ऑफ आत्मा एट ऑल बट स्टिल यू आर स्पीकिंग वॉट वॉट टू डू हेयर दैट देर इज नो बॉन्डेज ऑफ आत्मा एट ऑल इट्स दिस जस्ट द बॉडी इज गेटिंग बॉन्डेड नॉट द आत्मा बट इफ द दैट इफ सब बॉन्डेज इज देयर देन ओनली दैट क्वेश्चन ऑफ मुक्ति इज कमिंग If some bondage is there, then the question of mukti is coming. If no bondage is there, then how the question of mukti can come? <laughs> so this is just one by the effect of Maya only. This, this is the topmost uh, condition of the atma. But still, just uh, in the effect of Maya. He is getting entangled in in the effect of Maya, and he is actually thinking that he is uh, uh, just moving by the effect of Maya. Nothing is there at all to do at all. So this Shri Mantra, that uh, what is there with the Shri Guru, that Bhagavad Mantra, what he received, that Diksha etc., that Mantra what we ke- get by Diksha by that. Again, uh, that uh, birth is not at all possible. That first birth is that the janeu, janeu, janeu when you are getting after getting janeu, that after getting gaitri, then before that b- birth is that birth you are get taking from the womb of your mother. That is the first birth. After getting the birth from your womb of your mother, that is the first birth. Swat, swat, swatrajan. and after that to gurudev if you are getting some mantra from gurudev yeah, that gurudev has just done grip on you and given the mantra that is called second birth that the second birth it is and the third birth is that i have already told from the womb that savitri that janeu already done and the third birth is that divijan that dip vigyan that this dip vigyan that kind of uh, situation is there that dip vigyan what it is that this is by this mantra only you can get that the prabhupada always used to speak in this context always used to speak that actual by actual diksha only that dip vigyan can get manifest and prabhupad the prabhupad speaking that actual diksha or so called diksha that actual diksha and so called diksha and so called diksha in the in these two diksha that the infinity difference is there that actual diksha by that that kind of dip vigyan can get manifest very easily the realization will be there of that divine knowledge it will just get uh, growth spontaneously and so called by so called diksha when when he is on the material platform inside his heart he is just thinking that oh my diksha is already done that actual diksha actually you can see his diksha is not at all done actually and the prabhupad always used to speak and the prabhupad always used to speak very often very often used to speak jab when vastavik diksha actual diksha nahi hui is not at all done vastavik when actual diksha is not at all done by not at all having actual diksha the prabhupad speaking vastavik when actual diksha when you are not at all getting koi nobody no person no person by not at all getting actual diksha no no one anyone whatsoever condition that bhagwat seva that eligibility he won't be getting at all he won't be getting diksha nobody nobody can get the eligibility of bhagwat seva so where we will go 
so what we will do we don't have anything yes we have definitely definitely you will also get the opportunity but you will get some sukriti divyagan won't come at all that this kind of sukriti when you will go it will one be kind of one acceleration or driving force for you that kind of driving force it will become not now that actual diksha by not at all getting that nobody can get the actual eligibility in bhagavad seva at all so what will they will get they will just find some sukriti that this sukriti when will go forward it will just become one driving force and it will go forward some mangal you can get otherwise so whosoever whichever uh, mantra you are taking from guru it doesn't mean that uh, diksha his diksha is already being done that it doesn't mean like that that any guru if someone actually taking diksha that there is no point at all that with at the with the support of guru dev there is some kind of symptoms of sat guru that which mantra that you have got from asad guru or some sid guru you have got the mantra by that uh, that by that mantra you nothing will happen but that mantra you are getting from the sad guru that gurudev definitely is the gurudev becoming not different from the mantra so is becoming vigraha swarup of that mantra guru ka nikat so in front of that shri guru that bhagavat mantra when you are getting in this vishay that uh, is actually being spoken here and after that there is one prasang which is coming here like the case that the diksha prasang is there like that uh, procedure of diksha that guru diksha that mantra diksha what is the actual uh, uh, you, what is actually used to do bhagavat seva that previously i have already told you that actual diksha man it is not at all done then up till that point that he don't have any dikar in bhagavat seva at all that's his only sukriti he is getting that's it that swamantra what does it mean swa means atma swa means atma atma is actually chinma transcendental and bhagwan is also ours that bhagwan and jeevas that relationship is actually transcendental and it is permanent it is it cannot be broken at all you understand the point by speaking so so means atma why swa mantra it is written so mantra what is why it is written so mantra it is as if so it's our own mantra that's uh, atma mantra that uh, atma that uh, that top most chintan vishay that to just remember krishna all the time that is why it is called sa mantra that just by speaking mantra only everything will be done sa mantra means that that's why raghunath das goswami was speaking रिलेशनशिप is there that month same mantra is actually given by gurudev that i am of krishna and krishna is mine there is no other second thought at all and mantra and the mantra devata inside that there is no difference at all that i have already told you previously 
that mantra and mantra devta there is no difference at all and that about panch ang i have already told that five different kind of uh, five ang five different limbs are there that these five limbs if if these five limbs that after taking mantra at the time of doing japa at the time of chanting the mantra if you are actually concentrating on these five limbs these five limbs of the mantra how to chant the mantra if you are carefully putting concentration on that then no opposite result will come what is those five limbs what five limbs means that mantra what you have got that mantra you should know the inner meaning of the mantra that mantra what you got you should know the inner meaning of that mantra that what is the actual meaning of inner meaning of the mantra just to understand that what is the second thing that uh, the actual presiding deity of the mantra just to concentrate on his form that the mantra devata dhyan you have to do and after that this mantra definitely going to protect me and just going to maintain me understand the point that just all together all these three and two it all become uh, you add this that is five limbs in order to maintain those who are actually maintaining this five limbs and just chanting the mantra by this uh, along with these five limbs he is actually chanting the mantra with full concentration then only his mantra will get the topmost successfulness he will get siddhi in his mantra that mantra that to just uh, know the inner meaning of the word <laughs> and the mantra nyas means that to just uh, stay sharnagat on to the mantra devta like uh, you are to some you are going to some uh, goldsmith and you are giving something to that goldsmith some jewelry or some gold that some gold jewelry you are giving it to the goldsmith that is nyas nyas means that you have surrendered yourself to bhagwan you are giving you are giving on to the lotus feet of the mantra devta that is called nyas that um, mantra arth arth chintan that mantra nyas and the mantra is the mantra is the only protector and the mantra is the only maintainer of mine this definitely this mantra will protect me and this is swam bhagwan this mantra and this mantra definitely going to maintain me these five things these five limbs this kind of confidence should be there so whatever be the case whatever be the case this mantra that in regarding this mantra vishe saguru ho shakshat jo guru ho shahari swayam guru rajasya bhavet tushto tasho tushto hari swayam about this we have i have already discussed that mantra what is there that is uh, sakshat the swarup of gurudev and that gurudev that is swayam the actual swarup of hari non different from hari so guru how he is actually getting satisfied with me that swayam hari also who is actually satis- who's guru is satisfied with him swayam hari is also getting satisfied with him definitely hari will also get satisfied definitely hari will get will be getting satisfied with him that's why that in bhagwat sandarbh that brahma vakya is get we are actually speaking shila jeev ko swayam pad writing that's why shila jeev ko swayam pad ji that in bhakti sandarbh that brahma vakya he is actually putting and he is actually writing guru trata guru rushto na kashchano tasmat sarva prajatnena guru meva prasad guru rashte haro rashte guru trata agar hari if hari 
is actually satisfied, if Hari is not at all satisfied, then Gurudev can protect me. But if Gurudev is actually getting unhappy, then there is no pathway open. That's why it is written. Anyhow, that uh, Gurudev, that his happiness only, we want, that's it. That in order to get the total satisfaction of Gurudev, we need. In Sheto Shatar Upanishad also it is written. This all kind of uh, proofs, it's already written there in the Shastras. And uh, now in Gita, I have already told you one point regarding from Gita we have taken. That Gita we have already taken one point. Bhagwan actually just uh, telling Arjun not to do this time. This my actually topmost knowledge that uh, actual uh, in-depth meaning of mantra is what? That Parikshit Maharaj, uh, Parikshit Maharaj with mantra he got. Only Bhagavatam he has heard. That Bhagavaji Mahapuran and uh, Bhagavan Shri Krishna is not different from each other. That Bhagavaji Mahapuran, about that it is written there. If in Bhagavaji Mahapuran he is actually himself Krishna, not different from Krishna, then what kind of thing is actually uh, incomplete? How Parikshit Maharaj got Diksha? That when by full Bhagavatam he heard. It means that total divine knowledge was already there inside his heart. Bhagavan actually just uh, himself uh, rejecting that all those uh, cheaters and fraudsters don't accept anything of them. Bhagavan speaking in Gita to Arjun. This top most mysterious and secret uh, knowledge, divine knowledge, by mantra also you can get that tapasya, what is not at all there in their life, that they are actually uh, without bhakti, they are, and their heart is not at all getting attention towards hearing the glories of Bhagwan. And for those people, they don't have, they are actually finding faults in me, that those who have that uh, fault finding uh, attention on me. Just on me, they are having that fault finding attention. Then what, for which, then to whom with this divine knowledge we have to give? Those who are actually topmost with full devotional mood, those who are actually with full devotional mood, that topmost divine knowledge he is that he is actually respecting my topmost devotees, and by just remembering my devotees, he is actually telling this Gita Rahasya. Then definitely he will uh, attain me for sure. Of this, there is no doubt at all. You cannot find any fault in that at all. That Swam Mantra, that uh, where a detailed discussion, a bit, a bit of discussion I have just done in front of you about uh, the about Swam Mantra. About this, what I have started in the beginning, that Mantra Siddhi and Bhakti Siddhi, what is the difference between that? And if someone is asking, and Swam Mantra and Sri Harinam, what is the speciality and basic difference in that? That it's already written. That by speaking Krishna Nam, 
दैट बाई स्पीकिंग कृष्ण नाम बाई स्पीकिंग कृष्ण नाम दैट एक्चुअली सीक्रेट नेम ऑफ कृष्ण इज देयर लाइक श्री हरि श्री राधा कांत कृष्ण गोविंद अच्युत दीज आर ऑल डायरेक्ट नेम्स ऑफ कृष्ण दीज आर ऑल द प्राइमरी नेम्स एंड पतित पावन दीज आर ऑल सेकेंडरी नेम्स ऑफ कृष्ण दे आर नॉट एट ऑल प्राइमरी नेम्स दैट दीक्षा टू टेक दैट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस विद यू प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो so like this kind of uh, opposite which are is also going on in our uh, material samaj that in chitanya chitamrita it is written that diksha is not at all necessary why because it's already written in chitanya chitamrita pura charan vidhi apeksha na kare दीक्षा पुरस्चरण विधि अपेक्षा न करे दीक्षा पुरस्चरण विधि अपेक्षा न करे ऐसा लिखा है इट्स ऑल रिलेटेड इन श्री चैतन्य जी तामरे सो दैट्स व्हाई आदमी लॉट ऑफ पीपल गलत समझ दे आर थिंकिंग इट रॉन्ग कंप्लीटली रॉन्ग दैट इफ दीक्षा इज नॉट एट ऑल नेसेसरी एंड इंपॉर्टेंट देन व्हाई रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी पर एक्चुअली विल नॉट एट ऑल स्पीक एनीथिंग दैट दिस आवर षड गोस्वामी it's ashtakam it's coming no those who have already given him the teachings that is sakshat gaurang mahaprabhu that actual relationship that actual association and the relationship they have got means that swam mantra by speaking this means that about mantra diksha it is actually indicated that guru diksha that with sadguru you just need to attain that diksha about this i have just discussed a little in front of you not a detailed discussion and after that namni means that naam it means that it's a seventh case ending used here namne samante si namni namni matlab namni means that naam it si naam yadasi hari si that means shri hari shri radha kant krishna govind etc these are all uh, the primary names parmatma etc they are all secondary names so for us this uh, primary names we have to take that and in the vishay of hari naam especially this point of hari naam shri hari naam in that just by speaking hari naam we are thinking that in maha mantra everything is there because radha govind name is there in maha mantra only so this hari naam see hari that shri hari shri radha kant shri krishna these are definitely uh, primary names and just by speaking hari naam that mahamantra also we can understand why because in mahamantra radha govind name is there directly those who are do those have those people who don't have shraddha for to give them naam is not at all uh, good it is strictly prohibited it's written in bhagavatam that those who don't those who have shraddha already inside them just be careful on this point if this point someone actually putting question that bhagwan why he is speaking there's all those devotees who are there that they are definitely devotees that naam upadesh etc uh, in this vishay this all kind of vichar is coming that those who are having shraddha they up till that point they can do if shraddha is they are having then only to give him instruction that there is no uh, uh, disadvantage in that but those who are having getting shraddha on to lotus feet of hari naam and bhagwan already they are having then to do preaching in front of them or that what mahaprabhu has told that mahaprabhu what has told jare dekho tare kaho krishna upadesh 
What does it mean actually? What it, that definitely he has Shraddha? No, Shraddha is not there in him. So what we have to speak here? Those who already don't have Shraddha, that in order to build Shraddha in them, then only we have to speak. But according to the vichar of Shastra, there is some confusion. So the vichar is there, is that. The actual vichar is that. That those who already have Shraddha, that definitely he has Shraddha. So why to speak in front of him? That why Mahaprabhu actually speaking to Nityananda and Haridas Thakur. To each and every door. To each and every door to go and just knock the door and just uh, giving instruction to speak the actual glorification of Harinam. That this is my actual seva. You do glorify my name there. That uh, Haridas Thakur and Nityanand Prabhu, Mahaprabhu speaking. Even this also, Jagai Madai are actually topmost Pakhandi. The, to them also, that Naam, in order to get to get the glorification of Naam, uh, to build that in front of them, Nityanand Prabhu also tried that. What does it mean actually then? It means that, that in Naam Aparad also, that in Naam Aparad, that kind which is already counted in Naam Aparad, no? Naam, that this... Uh, there's inside a Naam Aparad, it actually counted in that. What? That Ashraddha, to give Harinam to Ashraddha one person. That if you will not at all give to Ashraddha one person, then to who to hold this Harinam you will give? You will give it to Ashraddha one person. It means this point. You don't uh, think it wrongly. The actual meaning of this is point is that, that Ashraddha one means that, that naturally, that Jeevas don't have any Ruchi for Harinam at all. Jeevas don't have Ruchi. Though Jeevas don't have any Ruchi at all. Okay. That uh, in order to develop Ruchi, that uh, this Naam Updesh is given to him. If he is not at all doing, uh, oppo- if he is not having that opposing mood and not at all speaking foul words in return by hearing the glorification of Harinam, then uh, it means that those who don't have Shraddha, not to speak to him is not at all good. That you have to speak about the glorification of Naam. After hearing the glorification, if inside his heart some kind of hinsa is there, then just kill him. Like this it's coming. Then that kind of ashraddha is coming inside him. It means you don't need to give him, don't need to speak anything about Harina. Preliminary you have to speak. And after that, if some reaction is done inside and he is speaking all foul words, and he is speaking all rubbish, then don't need to speak anything about the uh, glorification of Harinam to him. So, Harinam. That Harinam have uh, primary name and uh, secondary name is already coming. And by Shri Harinam, if uh, we are actually doing the Harinam Mahamantra, this also we can understand, then definitely there is uh, no wrong in that. Why? Because Mahaprabhu himself speaking this point. Mahaprabhu himself speaking this point. This all, all things we can see. So by Harinam, we already have made this which are under the guidance of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. That Bhakti Vinod Thakur, that his, his own vichar and his own comment on this, that of Sri Chaitanya Jira Tamrit. About this, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, what he wants to speak in context of this shloka, Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking, that okay, well, in this, Bhakti Vinod Thakur actually speaking in this context, that from the previous, previous sanskar, according to that, 
that top most anurag in harinam that top most confidence in asta if someone is having top most tremendous asta and whether it he, he is having he is having the tremendous uh, half that with harinam everything will be done in that person's life that kind of confidence is there in his life on harinam then for them for diksha is not at all necessary why because in harinam only a naam and a, a bhagwan is not different from each other and because of previous sanskar he has just realized that from his previous sanskar so for him it is not a big thing for him not to take diksha is not a big thing bhakti mohan thakur speaking for for whom he is speaking for those for those who are that from the previous sanskar according to that they have tremendous uh, attraction for shri hari naam and top top most confidence on shri hari naam for them uh, this diksha procedure is not necessary for other other people ragunath das goswami pad actually speaking that to get the mantra from gurudev and all primary and secondary names of hari naam all related to hari these are all related vishay to shri hari that hari naam naam abhas naam aparad and actual naam in between these three things what kind of difference we can find that we should realize that completely why because if because if he will be doing like don't understand that then he will be stagnant that no use will be there he will not uh, get elevated in his bhajan that's why this is important necessary to understand and after that it is written what is written here so after this it means the divine external vichar there is no merit that what kirtan at that morning time we used to hear this all actually written in the morning time kirtan morning time aarti kirtan it's written there jo brajan wo brajo jubo no brajo jubo mane brajo jubo means that braja that braja that top most very new new body that no new body of in the braja about that if bhakti vinod thakur actually is writing in the kirtan also but still our our uh, consciousness chetna will go opposite direction our thinking process will go opposite just by hearing this thing prajo jibo dandukar sarana prajo that braja yoga dand on to their lotus feet just to take sharanagati that is the top most thing this is not a normal thing at all in the kirtan that divine couple that uh, aprakrit radha govind vishay that for normal people ordinary persons cannot understand that properly they cannot understand that properly what this conception is of the divine couple 
इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट्स वाई परम पूज्य पद केशव गोस्वामी महाराज हैज रिटर्न अ न्यू कीर्तन and he has just made that new kirtan why because bhakti vinod thakur's 100% faith he the bhakti vinod thakur is having on to the lotus feet of uh, braj gopikas but still by the will by his uh, by the will of bhagwan keshav gosmai is writing a new kirtan that uh, that on to the lotus feet of radha krishna alone just to get uh, the lotus feet of radha govind that kind of uh, confidence bhakti no thakur is actually expressing and param pujya pad keshav ko swami mara new kirtan he is writing what is the reason this is not the reason that some with for some false ego he is writing no not like that the actual reason for writing uh, kirtan is that so that ordinary persons that normal persons they don't have uh, that kind of uh, consciousness they don't have that kind of to- transcendental realization that uh, radha govind that uh, they are having that transcendental body this actually they are in just by thinking it wrongly about what bhakti no thakur writing there is chance for ordinary person so that's why param pujya pad keshav ko swami maharaj under the anugatya of bhakti no thakur he has written one new kirtan in that definitely i will be discussing that what to do it's very important to discuss that also because people will think opposite we can't do anything in that everyone is actually thinking of their own all are selfish what to do guru vaishnav nobody actually is thinking of them at all that with the uh, alone that on to the lotus feet of radha govind to take their shelter means that sharanapati topmost sharanagati that is called sharanapati that jugal kishor divine couple that whole uh, infinity infinity world is actually the aadhar of the transcendental and material world both there's a topmost aadhar gaurang mahaprabhu radha and govind that the kind of all together one vigre and in that everything is there in that avain couple to samantro so samantra and uh, in harinam i have just given a very small details to you regarding this and damb it means that maya chal chal kapat avidya avidya sarvata that uh, truth, uh, humbleness shatyo shatyo is your sarvata this kind of humbleness truthfulness Maya is actually etc. These are all dumb. Dumb. That is the name called dumb. That who is actually having Maya? That who need pratistha? Who need position, name, fame? Otherwise, those who are actually taking shelter of pure Guru Vishnu, how they can be dumb? Not at all possible. so that's why the dekant bhav they are who is taking lotus feet of uh, radha govind they are taking sharnapati on to the lotus feet and with sharnapati there is no question of damb at all these are the actual symptoms of damb all these kind of symptoms you can find in damb that kind of uh, all the characteristics are there in this word damb and uh, in bhakti anushilan if in the bhakti anushilan bhakti ka anushilan mein that in bhakti anushilan if uh, that uh, with the elevation of bhakti apart from that other kind of uh, kamna vasna or uh, lust is there then that is called abhakti no kind of bhakti is there in them that is called damb bhakti ka anushilan that in the bhakti anushilan that in the anushilan of bhakti unnati chhodkar that just to reject the question of elevation of your consciousness 
if other kind of uh, demand is there inside your heart in a very secret form that while doing bhakti anushilan while doing bhakti anushilan if inside your heart just to elevate your bhakti other kind of uh, desire or uh, kamana vasana remains inside your heart then it go, it is called kapat that is kapat means that apart from bhakti that we are giving importance importance to other things that is called kapat so that so after that bhakti ko upar that above bhakti in that place bhakti ko upar that in bhakti that place that gyan prakarm that kind of topmost honor is given bhakti ka that in the anushilan of bhakti that kind of place apart over bhakti that place over bhakti at that place that gyan and vairagya that kind of value is there for that gyan and vairagya gyan and karm that kind of uh, value is there to them then avidya definitely gonna sprout up there it will develop so so the actual rules is that under krishna lushilam in krishna lushilan that kind of pratikul bhav towards bhakti should not come at all and in krishna lushilan definitely for karma and gyan that kind of pratikul bhav will come and it, by the effect of maya it is just getting uh, inert that all kind of uh, in infinity tyag if you are doing that kind of uh, just to uh, just to withdraw from the, all these conditions is very much important and just to get shuddh krishna bhakti inside your heart just to develop shuddh krishna bhakti just by taking the anushilan of pure krishna bhakti with that what will happen this all in krishna anushilan that kind of pratikul bhav if it is there then bhakti won't stay it will not elevate and in bhakti anushilan that if uh, that apart from the elevation of bhakti other kind of uh, uh, desire is there material desire then it is called kapat and at that kind of place uh, on the part of bhakti that kind of importance given to gyan and karm if you are giving then at that place only that kind of avidya will just get sprouted it will get developed automatically that apart from bhakti if gyan and karm is actually more dominant at that place that avidya definitely will get sprouted up in that place shri krishna anushilan any kind of pratikul bhav if you are having in shri krishna anushilan then this maya that it is inert but still will become active that in shri krishna anushilan in shri krishna anushilan any kind of uh, pratikul bhav if it is there inside in shri krishna anushilan any kind of pratikul bhav if it is there then definitely it is covered up by maya why because in bhagavad ji mahapuran one shloka is there which every time i have already told you from the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam it's written there it's after all these shlokas so after this in krishna anushilan no kind of pratikul bhav if it is there you just need to avoid that that is called uh, it is covered up by maya it is actually just getting uh, cheated by maya so it is very much important to quit all this and leave all these kind of uh, things which are pratikul to krishna anushilan that it all these things which i have told you just need to leave that and just to get shuddha krishna bhakti avalamban to take that of shuddha krishna bhakti inside your heart automatically these things will all these things we definitely have to live and shuddha shri krishna bhakti in order to attain that 
in order to grasp that shuddha krishna bhakti that with varna ashram what actually is connected with that varna ashram with that what is connected just by getting shuddha krishna bhakti that varna ashram that varna ashram jad lalasa that greediness and different different so kinds of uh, uh, dumb different different kind of dumb will also get removed completely automatically that shuddha krishna bhakti with varna ashram what is connected with that and ashram gat and any kind of material greediness or all other kinds of uh, different materialistic desires will definitely gonna uh, gonna get destroyed and swarup gat brahm what you are having regarding your swarup that kind of brahm that all kind of dumb definitely you just need to uh, uh, get rid of that or it will just get totally destroyed if you take krishna nushilanam shila ragunath das goswami pad under his anugatya this vichar it is very much important to do this and uh, vichar very important and uh, and why actually spoken apurvrati why it's here spoken apurvrati apurvrati means that that previously that rati is not at all seen previously that is called apurvrati and so this apurvar apurvrati in that which is not at all seen previously that kind of rati that atma that atma that kind of shuddha rati about that actually it is discussed here that regarding atma that is actually shuddha rati and in such bonded jivas that uh, with this uh, gender this body whatever because of the connection with this body gradually that kind of uh, material uh, things are actually dominant in them that lot of uh, with the connection with the material things from a longer time because of that the jivas are uh, not at all feeling that they are about their swarup that atmarati is actually uh, vishuddhrati and bonded jivas day by day just by having connection with material things they are actually thinking that this they are this bo- own this body is there that atmarati is the actual shuddhrati pure rati and uh, if anything connected to your linga deha I means subtle body gradually this actually is getting connected with all the material greediness and material desires and in shuddha krishna bhakti that uh, topmost atmarati that kind of uh, situation and condition is there and no other kind of condition can occur why because shri krishna is the only is the only atma and uh, that atmana atmadham that in bonded situation also this kind of bhakti by that how much it will just get uh, increase in some by uh, in the bonded condition in bonded condition these people that rati is actually becoming so much uh, degraded because of the connection with the material things and if in them that kind of rati will just get elevated and will get spontaneously manifested in him then uh, automatically he will elevate himself in uh, uh, bhajan raj in bonded uh, bonded condition this kind of rati that it is coming that it is getting more sprouted it is more good and and in connection to this that uh, in this connection to this apurvam that rati which was not there previously that it means that atma rati that in a pure form it is actually getting manifested what ra- that is actual instruction of ragunath das goswami pad which we need to understand and after that that atishay we have to atishay vidhan is very important it means atishay vidhan is very very important atishay means that apurvrati definitely is there but exclusively that you just need to increase it you need to elevate that day by day fraction of second that kind of to have that vyakulta that kind of tremendous lalasa that is very much important in bhajan rasya in bhajan raja it is actually spoken that this bhakti lata seed it means that that seed will definitely with the support that kind of seed will just get sprouted so especially that special vyakulta means that to do avalamban is very much important 
दैट अतिशय विधान दैट इज कॉल्ड टू डू अतिशय विधान बाय अबाउट दैट रघुनाथ दास को स्वयं पाद एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग गुरु रति अपूर्वम Whatever be the case here, the important speciality is that that kind of vyakulta just to get the avalamban is very much important. so atishay vidhan means that with full attention and with full tremendous attraction and attention because if that attention is not at all there then nothing can be done at all that dhruv maharaj in his life that if we can make vichar that in the life of dhruv that kind of utkantha that tremendous attraction for bhagwan is the actual cause that by which bhagwan is getting attracted because some kind of faults and suspicions can come in our mind that maharaj definitely with some karm and with some uh, wish he actually just started uh, bhajan dhruv maharaj ah, of bhagwan yes definitely with some material desire he started bhajan but after when he actually growing consciousness that kind of uh, desire he kicked it away he and is speaking dhruv maharaj that i don't have any kind of desire inside me now you just do krip on me so that i can do your bhajan with full nishkapat bhav and at last kya hota hai what happens that vyakul that tremendous uh, utkantha will just get tremendous vyakulta that is the actual positive of the bhajan very very positive for bhajan why because utkantha by that tremendous utkantha just uh, if someone actually is just calling bhagwan with full tremendous utkantha then maybe in guru maharaj that he is actually small boy some kind of uh, desire was there okay that that definitely it's written here in bhagavatam also but still that that kind of tremendous utkantha by what developed uh, that bhagwan just uh, running to him it's utkantha is so much attractive like in braj gopikas shrimati radha rani inside radha rani that kind of top most utkantha is there when krishna will come when krishna will come this kind of utkantha all the time that kind of tremendous utkantha is there so that kind of vyakulta uh, that topmost utkantha it is very much important to have that in the it to have that inside you then only bhagwan will get attracted by that feature of yours that with full vyakulta it is very much important to uh, call bhagwan if someone thinking that okay no worries if in our uh, uh, luck is there then we can get darshan if someone actually thinking that maharaj if it's in our luck then we can have darshan okay no worries that kind of vichar you do, can't make at all regarding bhagwat tatva bhakti mata thakur speaking that if someone is thinking bhakti mata think bhakti mata thakur speaking that if one is someone is thinking that in uh, if it, if it is in our luck then we will get it definitely we will get bhagwan if this kind of bhav is someone has been that it is totally wrong you don't need to think like that at all if our luck is there then we will have uh, by just uh, thinking like this just uh, to uh, sit quietly it's not at all good don't enjoy passive gam at all that kind of chitbal atmabal atmabal means that chitbal about that i've already told you it's in the kirtan already written that about chit bal i have already told you so this chit bal that this chit bal is uh, the actual uh, divine uh, power that material mind what power is having 
or whether that stool and urine this blood and flesh this what kind of strength is that that is not at all actual strength actual power that is not at all actual power but persons are thinking that this is actually the actual power that atmabal the strength of atma it is if it is increasing and will get manifested more and more that uh, more and more manifestation of the atmabal will be there then automatically then in whatever percentage atmabal that uh, it will just get manifested in that manner in that manner that karma gyan etc will just get destroyed that by karma whatever kind of uh, that kind of uh, luck what you are getting through karma it all will get destroyed completely by that if your atmabal is increasing and in that percentage that you are getting the actual kripa of your guru vaishnav all the time it will be just done of this there is no doubt about it at all that the actual spe- special 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 speciality or difference is that the actual conclusion a special conclusion is that what is that that uh, whatever time up till whatever time that kind of sadhu sang power with that association of sadhu sang with that power that karma you are actual you are not at all getting destroyed that up till that point that uh, the actual power of the association of sadhu with that you are taking and you are not at all destroying your karm phal that karm is not at all getting destroyed up till that point shraddha to uh, obtain that is not at all possible and shraddha when it is not at all there inside you up till those days whatever kind of instructions you are doing it is all useless no use of that at all it's fruitless and it's useless valueless shraddha when up till that day you are not at all having inside your heart that whatever kind of instructions you are giving it is no use at all it is all useless to give these kind of instructions that kind of eligibility of giving instructions to others you will not at all gaining at all if shraddha you are having then if shraddha you are having then then first that under the and you have to take shelter of diksha guru that you just need to accept yugal mantra what ragunath das goswami was speaking here only if shraddha if actually is done in your life then that under the guidance of diksha guru that yugal mantra that yugal ke shor mantra that yugal mantra it is very much necessary and important to uh, uh, to obtain that the after getting that mantra that dikha and siksha guru by that atmarati if you are doing worship and archan then it is the actual vidhan written in the shastrik injunctions after getting the mantra that diksha and siksha guru both the gurus that by atmarati you just need to worship them it is very much necessary to do that just by getting the mantra siksha and diksha guru both you have to worship and siksha guru on to their lotus feet that atma samarpan you just need to do uh, worship with full sharanagati and guru dev is actually with full topmost uh, bhagavat tatva that guru dev that uh, to think that guru dev has the topmost intelligence if you will not at all give him uh, respect as a topmost muni and you are just think him as his friend that you are just thinking him as his friend just think him as a friend there are three kinds of vaishnavas kanishta adhikari madhyam arkani and uttam adhikari that all these three classification of vaishnavas inside that that kind of to have that kind of priti according to their division some procedure is actually different for each and every one it all actually externally looks all the same but it's not like that that three kind of kanishta madhyam and uttam adhikari these three kind of vaishnavas these three kind of vaishnavas that kind of division is done according to the vaishnav grade that kind of uh, uh, preeti and to just get uh, the association of sadhu is very much important for each and every one and a mantra to and to have rati on to that yugal tatva to have that uh, that yugal yugal uh, tatva you just need to 
uh, get that tremendous attraction and just to be the heart that you will serve God with your heart. If you are not at all doing that, then nothing will done at all. They are their heart center, center portion. So by external vichar, you can see it's very difficult to do. भक्ति नो ठाकुर इन मन शिक्षा मन भाष्य ही एज एक्चुअली मैनिफेस्टेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इन बंगाली रघुनाथ दास को स्वयं पाद ये मन शिक्षा ऑन मन शिक्षा दैट ऑन मन शिक्षा भक्ति नो ठाकुर भक्ति नो ठाकुर जी शीला सचिदानंद भक्ति नो ठाकुर जी रघुनाथ दास को स्वयं पाद दैट विरचित मन शिक्षा ऑन दैट वन भाष्य वाज एक्चुअली रिटन maybe it is actually in bengali but just by reading that you can understand sri sri guru charane kyo na sri krishna chaitanya chandrayana sri raghunath das goswami sri raghunath das goswami pad sri raghunath das goswami charane kyo namo charane kyo namo i just offer my respect to lord of the lotus feet of raghunath das goswami pad regarding this but all the devotees are also doing kirtan also Manasiksha, that actual bhasha conclusion, some kind of language. If you know, then you can understand this. Very nicely it is written. Yeah. Very nice it is there in Bangla. 
in bengali it is written very nicely and in this point that that in gambira temple when mahaprabhu at the time of mahaprabhu was living there in gambira ragunath das goswami pad has uh, uh, written lot of shlokas also lot of shlokas ragunath das goswami pad has written very nicely he has written and presented that in front of us gorang mahaprabhu about gorang mahaprabhu and this all uh, is very much important to uh, speak this 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 all is very important to speak all these things in front of you very very important abhi now ragunath das ko swami pad that virachit jo that uh, shri manasikha that total complete bhashya that is we have already manifested that in front of you total bhakti vinod thakur has just manifested in this in his writing each and every shlok that may be bhakti vinod thakur has given each and every shlok he has written one kirtan on each and every shlok bhakti vinod thakur has written on shri min manasikha he has written the bhashya the conclusive bhashya he is he's writing and is very nicely written in straight bengali language it is written and after that in the second shloka actually we are moving the first shloka that we have already discussed a bit of that in details that in order to satisfy or control your heart is very much difficult that in order to control your mind and heart is very very difficult next to impossible because this heart is very dangerous that if it's another point it is written other that the first step of bhajan is to just get control over your mind and who will actually control it the first step of bhajan is that only that how to control over your mind and heart that is the first step initial step if you will not at all able to control your heart then it, everything will will just get uh, spoiled the first step of uh, this uh, yog of manasikha is to control your heart that's why das goswami in the last that he is just taking the lotus feet of his heart his mind because mind is actually material you cannot see heart at all but uh, the, the in the dashnik vichar shila ragunath das goswami pad is just uh, taking the feet of mind even he wants to uh, take the feet of heart that uh, of the kirtan which i already told you no no
कर्मो छारा इते के हो नारे कर्मो छारा इते के हो नारे शकोलो छारिया भाई श्रद्धा देवी रुगुनो गाई जार की पाभक्ति दीते पारे जार की पाभक्ति दीते पारे छारी दम छारी दम दो पुनक्षानो स्मरो अष्टो तत्तो मोनो करो तही निष्का पटो रोती करो तही निष्का पटो रोती सही रोती पार्थोनाइ सी दास को सामी पाए ये भक्ति बिनो दो करे नोती ये भक्ति बिनो दो करे this this swar swar ashtatatman that by just removing dumb and ahankar this smaran ashtatatta this eight tatta about this eight tatta this all the time you just need to remember that all the time you just need to remember like this that uh, that what previously i told you that prajavasi sujan bhusurgan samantra shri harinam and Praj- sharanapati you just need to take on to that these are all, all eight things all together and dambha that dumb apart from that you just just need to do that apart from dumb all you just need to uh, take that what Bhakti Thakur has written in this Kirtan in the form of Kirtan he has just manifested in front of us now in that second shloka we will start and tomorrow we will just give the detailed discussion regarding the second shloka सची शून सची शून नंदी स्वरपति सुतत्ते गुरुवरम मुकुंदो प्रेष्टत्ते स्मर परम अजस्रम नंद मनो क्या बताया व्हाट एक्चुअली रिटन हियर धर्मम ना अधर्मम सुतिगनो किलो सुतिगनो निरुक्तम किलपुर ना धर्मम ना अधर्म that you don't do dharma and you don't do adharma as well what that tomorrow i will be discussing that tomorrow i will be discussing that in complete why because all those persons normal persons that in the name of dharma that atma dharma they are not at all taking anushilan of atma dharma they don't know about atma dharma in the name of dharma mano dharma sharir dharma general dharma at and bodily dharma that samaj dharma they are all busy in that and they don't know about the Atma Dharma. What Gokaranji Maharaj has is already speaking to his father. First, actually, it is spoken. What actually is spoken here? That dharma means that atma dharma, bhagavad dharma. That only we just need to do anushilan. And after that, that in the name of dharma, the whole uh, world, what kind of garbage is coming, you just need to throw that away. Satatam means that without any interruption, without any gapping. Dharma, that above dharma only you just need to do bhajan. There is, should be no uh, kind of vichet, no kind of interruption should be there, no gapping should be there in that. That with Lok Dharma, Raghunath Das Goswami, he wants to speak here that, that tomorrow we will be discussing on this point that because most of the people, they are in the Vedas, what actually that actual normal dharma what is mentioned in the vedas 
normal things are there regarding normal dharma that what to do and what not to do the general conception of the vedas the normal general conception and instructions of the vedas in that that uh, just by showing some kind of uh, what to we will get in that and just by giving some greediness to the jivas just to take them away from this to that dharma pathway actual atma dharma pathway in this point especially in the vedas it's actually written more about that in the vedas uh, it is written more so vedas in any kind of material vishe vedas not at all giving any kind of acceleration to someone to just get more involved in material activities vedas are not at all not at all giving them the inspiration to just take the material karma but they will not at all understand so that's why from the 6th canto in the 6th canto i have already discussed that some uh, a bit in front of you that uh, tomorrow i will be discussing it more in details about this vishay tomorrow i'll be discussing it more on this vishay and i will show you how it is so this dharma you just need to quit that leave that and adharm also you just need to leave this dharma this you need to leave and adharm also you need to leave you don't do dharm and not to do adharm as well adharm is actually is strictly prohibited automatically but still some people are doing that what to do who actually is following dharm you tell me general dharm nobody is following general conception of dharma in rai ramanand samvad i have already discussed that the general conception i have already discussed in front of you nihu yat karmu dharma viragaya kalpati ittadi charcha etc i have already discussed with you the tomorrow i will be discussing more about this point and this shloka just be carefully listen to this shloka adharmam shruti gana niruktam kila puru braje radha kishno पचुर परिचर्या मिहतनु सचीशून नंदी स्वरपति सुदत्ते गुरुवरम मुकुंदो के स्तप्ते स्मरो परम अजस्रम ननु मनु क्या बताए व्हाट एक्चुअली रिटन हियर ये बताया इट्स एक्चुअली रिटन हियर दैट दैट श्रुति बाय ऑल द श्रुतीज इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटन in the shrutis it's already written that in general in general that by shrutis it is actually written that dharma and adharma don't need to do anything at all it is not at all necessary then what to do that shruti gan all the shrutis this bhagwan already told that all shruti shruti is when you are actually not at all getting the lotus feet of krishna then it is all useless then if you cannot understand bhagwan then it is all useless to read shruti and smriti that shruti all those shruti is that topmost sarva shreshth and sarva pari that extreme siddhant what is actually written etc a lot of uh, uh, shlokas are there in the upanishads and vedas lot of shlokas are there this is actually this already this siddhant is actually being given there that shri radha govind that shri radha govind ji that aprakrit transcendental radha govind that topmost paricharya we just need to do in that our life is will get topmost success he will get the topmost success in our life and our life will just get uh, full of happiness transcendental happiness just believe in that and sachida and to sachinandan nandanandan krishna he is non different from him so this already written in kirtan this all the same nandanandan krishna and sachinandan and then what we have to understand who is gurudev 
sometimes that Gurudev is not different from Bhagavad Tattva, that yes, he is. That he is so much uh, uh, dearer and nearer to Bhagavan that Bhagavan actually speaking about Uddhavji. That about Uddhavji, Bhagavan himself speaking. What he is speaking? What actually written here? Bhagavan speaking this. That even one atom, that's very small dif- difference between here is all useless. Here Parmanu means the atom. Even that one difference between the atom also is not at all there. That one molecule or some atom, that kind of difference is not at all there. Means that what is Uddhav, that is me. There is no difference of even one atom or molecule in that. This even not even uh, even of one uh, pinch of hair difference that even the one molecule or one atom difference is not at all there between me and Uddhav. That what does it mean? That that Bhagwan. That this in Achanta Veda Vetatva, that is a topmost very in-depth which are we need to take. How actually it is possible? That Radha Govind we are seeing different, but all the time they are all together coming one in Gaurang. If in this material world that kind of togetherness we are getting between a male and female, they cannot become one. There is some separate existence definitely there because this is material world. But in transcendental world, Radha Govind about that, this is not the point at all applicable for them. In Rai Ramanand Samvad, in Rai Ramanand when Mahaprabhu actually discussing with Rai Ramanand, in that topmost uh, uh, in-depth which are already given, that how both uh, the things actually getting all together and one mold is actually given. Mold, you know, that one molding is given there. About this, Shila Sarup Damodar Goswami already written, writing. Shila Sarup Goswami also writing very nicely. Very nice, he is Shila Sarup Goswami ji has written. In Chaitanya Chaitamrita also actually it is written. In Shri Chaitanya Chaitamrita already it is written there. That about this, the discussion about that. What actually written here? This is actually a different point altogether what I am speaking now. This much uh, very nicely, nice slow cars are written. And today we have to give rest up till today. Just forgive me for that. So tomorrow I will be just discussing more in details about this point. Definitely we are going to have detailed discussion. I have this kind of uh, desire that I can do. Now today I will be just giving up till now. Just forgive me. Yo mantra, yo mantra ha sa guru hu shakshad jo guru hu sa hari hiswayam guru yasuhavit tushto tashu tushto hari hiswayam 
वांचा कल्पतुर्वश्य के पास सिंध बचो पातितानं पातितानं बाबने भो बचनाय भियो नमोन 